The Honourable Member for Parkdale High Park. It is not surprising that the Conservatives are hiding information on their budget because the cuts to services are going to be worse than those originally announced. There will be more job losses and the federal government services are threatened. By refusing to give out this information, the Conservatives are asking their own members to vote blindly. Legal opinions are clear. The Conservatives are breaking the law. Why are they refusing to give the parliamentary budget officer the proper information? Why so many blind votes? The President of the Treasury Board, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to report to Parliament using normal means, including uh, budgets, quarterly reports, and public accounts. And we are also clearly indicating the plan, the economic action plan 2012 under this plan. We are putting in place strong economic measures for a balanced economy in order to reduce the deficit. We continue to grow jobs and economic opportunity in this country, and we are uh, in the midst of implementing that plan. Members of Parkdale High Park. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we know that the facts have a well-known anti-conservative bias, uh, but even, even though it's on the chopping block, the very last Statistics Canada report on labour and income dynamics was released today, and it shows over the last few years, seniors' income declined. The number of seniors living in poverty increased. The Conservative cuts to old age security and the guaranteed income supplement only hurt seniors more. Why are they ignoring the facts and punishing seniors with this Trojan horse budget bill? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Human Resources. Well, we've done just the opposite. We've helped seniors become better off. In fact, through our tax cuts, and there have been over 150 of them in the last few years, Mr. Speaker, over 380,000 seniors are no longer having to pay tax. That's money that they're keeping in their pocket. Mr. Speaker, we've also increased the guaranteed uh, income supplement by record amounts in the last 20 years. Mr. Speaker, we've done a lot to help seniors. Unfortunately, the NDP has voted against every one of those initiatives. To help our seniors, we've got it. Honourable Member for Toronto.